in the end, everything will be carved in stone. What's up, y'all? My name is Maria Peralta Adiano, reporting with Carved in Stone, and we're here at the 12th annual Heal the Hood Block Party. Right next to me, I have Terry O'Kelly with 414 Life. So my first question for you, Terry, is for someone outside of the community, how would you describe that 414 Life? You said how would I describe 414 Life? Yeah. So 414 Life is a violence prevention organization. We respond to uh, shootings, victims of shootings, uh, kids in DT, kids in these schools. Uh, just trying to, you know, get them in a positive path. Yeah, for the life. For sure. And in your opinion, why is it important for a community to have a day like today and for some like Heal the Hood where they can come see all different types of vendors and see friendly faces such as yours? I mean, I think it's very important because uh, this is this is Milwaukee. This is our neighborhood. So uh, it's, it's a must to, for the community, for the youth to see the positivity in the city instead of all the negativity that's portrayed on, on the news. For sure. And I've been kind of, I'm planning to ask everyone this. So for you, in your opinion, what does a healed hood look like? A healed, a healed hood looks like a, a collective effort from the community. Uh, and that, that's the way to patch up the hood, which is healing it. You know, uh, everybody hands on deck, uh, everybody being involved, just a positive environment. For sure, I love that. Um, so that was the last question I had for you today. I'll let you get back to enjoying the sun and serving the community like you do. Um, but yeah, just remember guys, in the end, everything will be carved in stone. In the end, everything will be carved in stone.